In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel. According to St. Mark, chapter 5, verses 21 to 24a, and 35 through to chapter 6, verse 1. Now when Jesus had crossed over again by boat to the other side, a great multitude gathered to him, and he was by the sea. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she will live. Jesus went with him, and a great multitude followed him and thronged him. While he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. And he permitted, permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw a tumult of those who wept and wailed loudly. When he came in, he said to them, Why make this a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside, he took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him, and entered where the child was lying. Then he took the child by the hand, and said to her, Kalitha Kumai, which is translated, Little girl, I say to you, arise. Immediately the girl arose and walked for she was twelve years of age. And they were overcome with great amazement. But he commanded them strictly that no one should know it, and said that something should be given to her, given her to eat. Then he went out from there, and came to his own country, and his disciples followed him. Today's Gospel reading, we read about the Jairus' daughter, the leader of this, one of the leaders of the synagogue, who was very sick, on the verge of dying. In actual fact, she did die. But it didn't bother Jesus. This leader of the synagogue was begging Jesus to come. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she will live. He had that much faith in Jesus. He believed. Then, of course, he proceeded on then to the house. Even after one of the uh, friends the, the ruler came and said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? And Jesus' reply was, Do not be afraid. Only believe. And then, of course, when they got to the house and they went in, there was a great commotion going on. People were crying and just wailing. And, and Jesus told them, Why all this commotion? The child is not dead, 
but sleeping. And of course they ridiculed him, laughed at him. He put him outside. And then, with her parents, and those who were with him, went in. Jesus took her by the hand and said to her, Little girl, I say to you, Arise. And of course the little girl got up. And then to prove also that she was not dead, he told them that she's hungry. Give her something to eat. If she was dead, she wouldn't be able to eat, or she would not want to eat. Then he went out and came back to his own country, and his disciples followed him there. We read in this scripture today the miracle of Jesus raising this dead girl. What is the bottom line for us all to remember? As the Father had, so should we have faith. To believe that all things are possible. No matter how often things happen in our lives, we become afraid. Our faith is so often shaken. As Jesus said to this man, this ruler of the synagogue, he says to us, do not be afraid. Only believe that all things are possible. As it says in another part of scripture, all things are possible for him who believes in the scriptures, who believe in God. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.